In this video, we are discussing vector groups in three-phase transformers. First, have a look at the typical nameplate of a three-phase transformer. The details of the transformer are printed on the nameplate that include the KVA rating, the voltage on the primary and secondary sides, the currents, the percentage impedance of the transformer, the frequency of operation, type of cooling, the weight of the transformer parts and the possible temperature rise. In addition to all these things, the vector group is also specified and here it is given as DYN11. Also we have some graphic symbols printed on the nameplate that are related to the vector group designation. We start with the definition. The vector group designation indicates the winding configurations and the difference in phase angle between them. Now, what is the meaning of DYN11? The uppercase letter D specifies the primary is delta connected. Then the lowercase letter Y specifies star connection in the secondary. N indicates that neutral terminal is available and the number 11 specifies that the phase difference is 30 degrees leading. Here the number 11 corresponds to the hand position of 11 o'clock on the clock dial. We can see that the angle between the clock hands is 30 degrees in this case. Continue to watch this video to see how does the phase shift occur in three phase transformers in commonly available vector groups and how we can identify it from the nameplate details. The first type that we are going to discuss is the YY0 vector group. It has star star connection. That means both primary and secondary windings are star connected. In the phasor diagram, the three voltage phasors are 120 degrees apart. The secondary winding voltages in all the three phases are in phase to the corresponding primary voltages. Phasor positions of one phase is represented by the clock hand positions. The red hand representing primary phasor and the green hand representing the secondary phasor. Here the phase difference is zero and the clock position corresponding to that is zero hours. That is how we name this vector group as YY0. And we can have a simplified connection diagram like this which will normally be printed on the transformer nameplate. We can also have a displacement diagram which shows the connection on the two windings of the transformer and indicate the phase difference between them. Please note that in the simplified connection diagram, the polarities of each winding are represented as shown here. On primary side, A1, B1, C1 are on the left side and on the secondary side, A1, B1 and C1 are on the right side. The primary terminals are represented with uppercase letters A, B and C and the secondary terminals are represented with lowercase letters A, B and C. We shall follow this convention throughout this video. The next type is the D, D0 vector group. It has a delta-delta connection. That means both primary and secondary windings are delta connected. In the phasor diagram, line voltages are in phase to the corresponding primary side voltages. The phasor positions of line voltage VAB is considered for phase angle representation. And since there is no phase difference between the primary and the secondary, the clock position corresponding to zero hours shows the phase here also. We can have the simplified connection diagram and also the displacement diagram. Now we pass on to the YD1 vector group. The primary is star connected and the secondary is delta connected. The secondary line voltage VAB comes out from winding A. Primary side winding A is linked with it. Since the primary is star connected, we have to obtain the phase voltage as shown here in the phasor diagram. 
the voltage induced in winding A of the secondary will be in phase with the voltage of the winding A on the primary side. That means the secondary line voltage VAB is in phase with primary voltage VA. If we consider the phase angle of the line voltage VAB on the primary and secondary sides, we can see that the secondary voltage is lagging by 30 degrees. The same angle is shown by the clock hands which is in the 1 o'clock position and that is how this vector group is named as YD1. Similar to the previous cases, we can have the simplified connection diagram and also the displacement diagram. Now the DY1 vector group. The primary is delta connected and the secondary winding is star connected. Since we have taken line voltage VAB as a reference for the primary side, voltage VAB should be considered for the secondary side also. In the star connected secondary, VAB is obtained by VA minus VB and the VAB phasor is obtained like this. Here also we can see that the secondary voltage is lagging by 30 degrees from the primary side. The 1 o'clock position matches here as well. The simplified connection diagram and the displacement diagram are like this. We can see that the displacement diagram clearly represents the connections and the phase angle. That is connection is delta star and the secondary is lagging by 30 degrees. Next we consider YD5 vector group. The primary is star connected and the secondary is delta connected. In the phasor diagram, line voltages on the star connected primary side are decomposed into corresponding phase voltages. Since we are taking line voltage VAB as a primary side reference, we need to take VAB for the secondary side also. Here VAB actually comes from the winding B of the secondary and the voltage induced in it will be in phase with phase voltage of winding B of the primary. Now the secondary line voltage is lagging by an angle 150 degrees from the corresponding primary voltage. The hand positions of 5 o'clock represents this condition. The simplified connection diagram and the displacement diagram are like this. In the DY5 vector group, the primary is delta connected and the secondary is star connected. Please note that polarity of the secondary side windings are changed here. That is position of A1 and A2 are interchanged. Therefore, in the phasor diagram, the voltage induced in winding A of the secondary will be 180 degrees displaced from the primary side line voltage. Similarly, VB phasor is also displaced by 180 degrees. The line voltage VAB in the secondary is obtained by VA minus VB as shown here. Now the secondary line voltage is lagging by an angle 150 degrees from the corresponding primary voltage. The 5 o'clock position holds good in this case also. The simplified connection diagram and the displacement diagram are like this. Next up is the YY6 group. Both the primary and secondary windings are star connected, but the polarity of each winding is reversed in the secondary side. In primary side, it is A1, A2 and in the secondary side, it is A2, A1. This reversal of polarity is done in other windings as well. This results in 180 degree phase shift in voltages in the secondary and represented by the clock hand positions in the 6 o'clock position. The simplified connection diagram and the displacement diagram are like this. Similar is the case with DD6 vector group. Both the primary and secondary are delta connected, but the polarity of each winding is reversed in the secondary side. In primary side, it is A1, A2 and in the secondary side it is A2A1 
and similarly in other windings as well. This results in 180 degree phase shift in all the voltages. Again, it is a 6 o'clock position. The simplified connection diagram and the displacement diagram are like this. In the YD11 vector group, the primary is star connected and the secondary is delta connected. In the phasor diagram, line voltages on the star connected primary side are decomposed into corresponding phase voltages. Since we are taking line voltage VAB as a primary side reference, we need to take VAB for the secondary side also. Here VAB actually comes from the winding B of the secondary and the voltage induced in it will be decided by the phase voltage of winding B of the primary. Also note that the polarity of phases are reversed in the secondary side. When we look from the terminal side, it is B2, B1 here. Now the secondary line voltage will be 180 degrees out of phase from the primary phase voltage VB. At the end, the secondary line voltage VAB is leading the corresponding primary voltage by an angle 30 degrees. The hand positions of 11 o'clock represents this condition. The simplified connection diagram and displacement diagram are like this. The last one in this listing is the DY11 vector group. The primary is delta connected and the secondary is star connected. In the phasor diagram, voltage induced in winding A of the secondary will be in phase with primary line voltage. The line voltage VAB in the secondary is obtained by VA minus VB as shown here. Finally, the line voltage is leading by an angle 30 degrees from the corresponding primary voltage. The 11 o'clock position matches here also. The simplified connection diagram and the displacement diagram are like this. Here we have a summary of all the vector groups we discussed so far. The phasor symbol, the displacement diagram and the connections in each case are shown here. Now we can go back to the transformer nameplate that we have seen earlier. The vector group is given as DYN11. What is its difference from DY11? The difference is it has the neutral point of the secondary brought out as a terminal. The connection diagram is changed accordingly. The change in connection diagram is visible in the nameplate also. That is a neutral point is added here. All the other things including the phase shift will remain the same. I hope this has given an idea of what is vector group in three-phase transformers